road to Rock Hounds the movie started with the local TV show North Texas Explorer, a collaboration between geologist Devin Denny and filmmaker Todd Kent. We visited a lot of North Texas attractions and take a trip back in time with the Dallas Museum of Natural History. Billy Bob's has been synonymous with good country music ever since its opening. Imagine yourself 75 million years ago, swimming in the shallow sea that then covered McKinney, Texas. This time our journey starts at South Fork Ranch. Whoa. All right, oh, buddy. Oh my good lord. As you can see, damage from a tornado in Texas can be catastrophic. Hi, this is Willie Nelson and you're watching North Texas Explorer. And we went to several places outside of North Texas. The Big Texan's a fascinating place to stop in and quench your thirst anytime you're passing through Amarillo. The Guadalupe Mountains are really a land of extremes, but our neighbor to the south, Mexico, is worldwide known as one of the best mineral and rock collecting countries in the world. Come with us as we visit one of America's great landscapes, the Wichita Mountains and the Wichita Mountains National Wildlife Refuge. You'll always find surprises right around the corner here in Colorado. But we always try to include as much earth science as possible. Paladura Canyon was created over millions of years by one simple process, erosion. Now I'm told that the crinoids are about 300 million years mm -hmm. old. They're ranged between uh, 250 and 300 million years, wow. depends on where you are. That's older than dirt. Actually, it is older than dirt. A trip through this geological masterpiece is a trip that'll leave an impression on you for the rest of your life. Carlsbad Caverns is truly a big and beautiful piece of American landscape. At the same time, the show's director, Todd Kent, was trying his hand at producing independent documentaries. And soon the idea for Rock Hounds the Movie was born. One of the first lessons we learned was, when it rains, it pours. Not an easy job, but, you know, uh, especially when it rains. Woo, that was nasty yesterday. But. Wear rain slicks. It rains every year. Where you are behind the scenes, it's completely raining out here. As they're digging for a dinosaur fossils of some sort. Todd shooting under the cover of a poncho. But it's all part of the experience. Um, digging for fossils is fun, but you can't expect it to be 70 degrees every day you go. There may be snow on the ground, there may be mud, but a true fossil hunter is going to go and ignore the surroundings and look. Luckily, our first shoot was indoors. It's a geology merit badge, or others call it different things, but basically they need to go through a program to have this merit badge awarded to them. We teach that program at this show. While we were at the Houston Gem and Mineral Show, we met dinosaur George Blazing and set up a fossil dig. But before we could do that, we had to head east. Todd Kent is doing the video. He's with Explorer Mulva Media, and he'll tell you a little bit about what he's doing, why he's doing it, and be doing some interviews and out to the mines today, if he's got a rain suit. I am uh, directing a documentary film about uh, rock hounding and gym and mineral collecting, and yeah! We got a warm reception at the World Championship Quartz Crystal Dig in Mount Ida, Arkansas, and sharp-eyed viewers can even catch a cameo by our production assistant, Wayne Newman, as he helps out posting dig results. So we're not too anxious to go night. home. Oh boy. That's we're down good. here playing in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> the Arkansas mud on our boots barely had time to dry before it was time to get muddy again. Uh, it was great chasing the kids in the water and the mud. But it was fun. It was really interesting. Our fossil dig in the Texas Hill Country was almost canceled due to rain. We were hoping that that Boy, I'm telling Sunny you, that spot was moving this yeah, way. Yeah, no kidding. Well, I think that is <laughs> this <Yes>. way. <laughs> yeah. But thanks to Dinosaur George and some pretty determined kids, we pressed on and found some great fossils. Oh, I found millions of them. Millions of them. They were everywhere. And with the kids satisfied, it seemed our work here was done. And it was time to head north. <laughs> We 
split our time on the Oklahoma shoot between the Timberlake Rose Rock Museum and a Rose Rock dig with students and faculty from the University of Oklahoma. And they're not very common. I mean, they're so uncommon as to make these uh, really curious why they're here. But we had our fair share of problems on this shoot, too. Typical well, collecting in Oklahoma. <laughs> well, apparently, the water is too high to see practically anything here. Due to even more rain, our digging spot was underwater, so we had to head out to our backup location. Right here. Right there. But even there, finding rose rocks was child's play. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to clean it and then I'm going to put add it to my collection of rocks because I got quite a bit of rocks. With all those shoots done, I was ready for my close-up. Mineralization is quite simply when you replace organic material with an inorganic mineral material. One type of way to do this is called petrification. It's very common in what you may know as petrified wood. Thanks to the cooperation of the OU School of Geology and Geophysics, we shot some educational laboratory content for each of the segments of the movie. Vermont? Connecticut? God. I don't remember the next part of the line. <laughs> Every take might not be perfect, but we got the job done and our rock hounding journey was over. We hope to eventually turn the rock hounds concept into a weekly television series along with other Explore Multimedia projects, like the upcoming Geo America. Until then, we'll keep exploring our roots in rock. <laughs>